Hey guys, um, I know it's been weird vlogging. My vlogging routine has been, been, let's do this again. I know my vlogging routine has been very sporadic. It's just been really, really hectic the past, um, week. Um, and, and you know why Tim's been in the hospital, but, um, update you guys. It's right now four, um, four Oh five in the afternoon on Sunday. My parents left about an hour ago um, back home to Rosemead and I'm back alone with Olivia again but it's been so great to have them help me while Tim has been in the hospital. Um, basically I don't know when I last like um, updated you guys about Tim's condition. Um, he was doing pretty badly. Um, Post, so he had a surgery on June 30th and post surgically things just kind of went downhill um, and then after a few days like I don't know if I told you but he ended up having an ileus on top of the kidney blockage that they put temporary stents in and so they had to put an NG tube in for 24 hours um, like it was insane and you know NG tubes are not fun and I knew that he wasn't gonna tolerate it well which he didn't like three people had to hold him down and then it wasn't placed correctly so he had to go to fluoroscopy and radiology and um, it was just really really insane well you know he wasn't walking as much because of the pain and that evening he just like walked four rounds when he wasn't even walking more than one round he walked four rounds by on his own and he finally had I know it's kind of TMI but not but he finally had his first what we wanted I'm sorry honey um, but that was like a rejoicing moment and then the next morning the doctor actually took his NG tube out which was amazing and started him back on clear liquids um, so then after that I want to say the next day they finally took his fully out even though they kept the ureter temporary ureter stents in um, just to make sure that his ureter is healed properly from the tissue damage slash hemorrhaging slash clotting that occurred post-operatively. Um, then after that he has voided. So he's been voiding and he doesn't have an NG tube so we're still we're still um, we still have one more drain which is the um, Jackson Pratt JP drain in his abdomen which um, has been slowing down on output and he still has his Dilaudid PCA but overall his breathing is fine because he had the fluid overload and then the bloating um, that was happening from the ileus that was like um, decreasing the size of his chest cavity and he couldn't he wasn't able to speak like two or three words at a time it was insane um, don't want to bore you too much with that but that was what was going on and it was a really 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 difficult week but it's we're finally turning for the better he obviously has a little bit of setbacks where he would um feel bloating things you know kind of happen worse feel worse at night so at night he has a lot of pain um the poor guy's not still not able to get enough sleep but it's hard when you're at a hospital and you've got all these things going on and it's just a long process but at least he's able to be on room air he was supposed to be on oxygen and just he wasn't he was looking pretty bad. I was like so afraid that he was going to throw a PE or some type of embolism and um, thank God and thank you all for all of your prayers and healing wishes. I could hug all of you and I, I, I'm giving you all hugs. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you so much. So the doctor on um, this past Friday said that, you know, he's definitely staying in the hospital throughout the weekend, which is, it's Sunday and at least till Monday. They've advanced him on a full liquid diet, but he's still taking it easy and I don't blame him because after um, taking in stuff, he still feels bloated, but that's, that's to be expected, you know. He needs to walk some more and he's been walking a lot. So um, the good thing is we're slowly but surely getting to where we want to be slowly but surely and in other news <laughs> I which should be another vlog I think maybe this will be another vlog um, but I just wanted to share with you that I turn in my resignation at um, on Friday and I thought I was gonna have I gave in my two weeks notice I actually manager just decided to make my last day 
yesterday, so I, I pretty much gave my notice on Friday, and she said my last day would be on Saturday, which unfortunately I was not able to make because I had no childcare for Olivia. So it was kind of weird. I've been on that unit on, on PSU for about seven plus years, and that's not including the first year and a half that I was there before I went to Santa Monica and did my little stint in the OR as an OR circulator, and then came back because I loved it so much. Um, the reason why I'm changing is because it's it's amazing hours. Um, it's a part-time position at a clinic. I have weekends off, I have Mondays off, and I get off at 1.30 on days that I work, Tuesday to Friday. So, like, yeah, 1.30 in the afternoon. It's like 7.30 to 1.30. I'm, I couldn't be so, I couldn't be I'm more happy. That's what, I couldn't be more happy for the type of schedule that is. So I'll have to, I'll be able to spend weekends with my um, family, which is amazing, and not miss a lot of stuff that will go on, especially with Olivia. Um, that being said, I'm excited, I'm scared. Tim is still in the hospital. Um, I start new employee orientation tomorrow, and so I'm really, really scared about trying to get Olivia up to, to wake up. She's not a morning person. We started a new schedule of her going to school, and she just doesn't wake up, so. I think I'm gonna have to wake up at like three in the morning and spend two hours to wake her up, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try to do an early bedtime. And that's that. So that's lots and lots and lots of changes are going on. Um, yeah, it's huge. There's a lot going on right now. Like, I don't know how, I'm just like in this tizzy and whirlwind and I've just been very, very emotional and um, just sensitive. Um, so yeah, but I really, really thank you for all of the love and support that all of you have given to me and Tim and Olivia and all the help that's offered. Again, I love all of you. I love all of you guys and thank you so, so much. So that being said, um, my family came yesterday in the afternoon. It was so nice for them to come and help distract Olivia. She would. She would wake up in the middle of the night crying for her dad and I don't blame her and so we've been having restless nights. It would take me a couple hours to calm her down and um, it's been hard. So it was really good to have um, Opa and Oma come by and she adores them and she plays with them and it makes her tired and she's been sleeping but she slept really well last night. So yesterday when they came over, um, I love to go to the ocean as you can see. So we went to the, um, our favorite place in La Jolla and then we went to go eat. Olivia was kind of acting up and having a tantrum. She was hungry so we went to eat Japanese food. Nozomi, we ordered, over ordered, but it was so delicious. And then after that we went to the mall to go get some makeup because that's like therapy. And that's when I want to show you what I got. I didn't buy a lot. Um, Sephora. My mom actually went to um, the Nordstrom because she loves Charlotte Tilbury, so she got more eyeliners, which is the next on my list. I have tons of eyeliners, but that one will be the next one. So let me show you what I got at Sephora. So I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Champagne Pop. I think this is like pretty, pretty popular. Um, I haven't opened mine yet, but this is hand thing. <laughs> it is such a gorgeous color. Look at that. Can you see it? It's a lot of shimmer. It's just gorgeous. It makes you look like a goddess. And anything that makes me look like a goddess, I'll take. So I love this and I can't wait. I've got to get a good fan brush though. So I'm going to find that on Amazon. And then I don't really care for like finishing mists, but I've noticed a lot of YouTubers use it. And this was, you know, in that section where you um, are in line to pay it so far. They have like these little things. Well, and I love Super Goop. So this is Super Goop, Goop brand. Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary Broad Spectrum. Oh, with SPF 50. It's a matte finish, three in one. And it sets your makeup. Can you read it? But it's one of those things that you spray. Oh, and it has a noise. Oh no, that's awesome. So I would love to use this. Like, I can't wait. I want to be like, I'm trying to get my makeup more on point. I'm not using on sleek. That's that's like done. I'm not using that. No, not using that word term anymore. So these are the only two that I got. 54 bucks. Um, I'm excited about the champagne pop. Like, 
I think I've been seeing this all over the internet and beauty vlogs, 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 vlogs. So can't wait. Obviously, sorry about my appearance. I have zero makeup on. I woke up this morning like super, super tired. I actually had fake lashes on yesterday. It was a different one. And I like it because it was really, really natural. And I really don't know if I have a picture. So then that's that. So that's my Sephora haul from yesterday. And we visited Tim. Um, his best friend from Arizona came to visit him. And they got to watch a movie together in his room. So that was really sweet. So we had a very short visit. We were tired. Then this morning we went to go to Bristol Farms, which is what I filmed earlier. And it's kind of like a ritual to go there in the mornings of the weekend and um, had a delicious meal. I got Tim a whole bunch of organic um, infused natural drinks that will help him hydrate and keep his mouth refreshed. So I got him that. I got some kombucha drinks from my mom, but she couldn't take it on the drive. And I guess it had a little more sugar than she wanted. So... I'm stuck with kombucha drinks and um, in fact, let me show you. Speaking of drinks, I am so obsessed with two drinks at Starbucks. Um, one of them is the Frozen Blended Strawberry Lemonade. If you haven't had it yet, I suggest you go try it, especially for the summer. It's amazing, amazing. It's such a delightful treat. And something less sweet is the Youth Berry. It's the Tivana Youthberry White Tea Granita. It's basically like lightly sweetened tea with like slushy ice. And you feel guilt-free because it's like tea. Hello, tea is good for you. Slightly, slightly sweetened and it's really cold. And it's, I just love it. So it's so good. So anyway, I'm going to try this. I'm not really a kombucha person, but this was like a long time ago when I last had kombucha when it was just like that one flavor. And now it's come a long way. I'm talking like long time ago like in the 90s is when I last had it so I think I should give it a chance my girlfriend Joyce loves it so I'm gonna give it a chance so I got this Kavita you probably heard of it it's a strawberry acai coconut um so I'll try that and then um I got this is from Bristol Farms by the way this is a Bristol Farms haul short haul kombucha Bill Blairy Blessing and then it's got probiotics obviously and then another one kombucha organic raw hibiscus ginger i'm not a ginger person this was for my mom but you know what i should start drinking healthy stuff and taking things that's more healthy for me and you know what a good probiotic is always good so i got those and then a whole bunch of awesome awesome like hint water and um oh gosh i don't know the name but i got a whole bunch for tim and i totally should have uh vlogged it but i was in a rush to just drop that off to him is giggling I love that sound um, and also I got him like a little succulent plant that is, is kind of like symbolic in that he had that at the, he was gonna have that in the hospital and he's gonna bring it to work with him and it'll be like a reminder of the hardship he's overcome and how life is precious and to just keep striving in you know dry conditions like a succulent I don't know but you get it, right? You get it. Okay. And I went to Target, and I will show you my Target haul. Very, very small haul. I usually spend, like, tons, but because I was on a time constraint, my parents were watching Olivia, but they had to get back home soon before traffic is insane. So I kind of did it, like, rush. I rushed, did it, but I got, like, the essentials. So I got my lactose-free milk, 1%. Original classic potato bake snacks. I love potato chips. I like, I'm obsessed with potato chips, but I can't eat it too much. Like I need to stop. So I figured these would be the best way to do it. I got two. Chicken and a biscuit. This is a childhood favorite. I don't get it all the time. It was one of those things that you get once in a great while. And I just, I just opened it and just like stuffed my mouth with this. I already opened it. <laughs> it's so good. So good. And soaps. So I got just, just, just. <laughs> Did you just see that? <laughs> I, that's, wow, I'm so embarrassed. Three in one kids wash for Olivia, the Target brand, Walker watermelon. It smells so good. It smells like that watermelon bubble gum. And then Caress Tahitian. Renewal because I want to feel like I'm in Tahiti when I'm taking a shower. Mm. 
last but not least, I got some shampoo. L'Oreal. I switch around and it's fun, but I got the L'Oreal um, Total Repair Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner and Pantene 3 Minute Miracle. My hair is really, really dry. I'm in dire need of a haircut. And as soon as I get a better schedule and Tim comes home and I'll have a little bit of time to go get this haircut done and maybe some touch up on my highlights, I will do that. So that's all I have right now. It's 424. Uh, my plan is I got these lashes um, from Sephora. And like when I'm into something, I buy like a ton and I think I overdid it. So they're like really, really thick. They're like 26 bucks. I was like, you know what? I got the Ardell Demi Wisp bees and I got other ones so I'm just gonna return it I never opened it so that'll be a good thing and I gotta get gas for tomorrow and I think that's it we might head to uh, Sarku oh I need to probably get Olivia and K-I-N-D-E-R E-G-G because I promised her that um, but that's it anyway thank you so much like I said I'm so sorry I haven't been regular it's been really hard um, and I miss you guys, and I love you guys. So I will catch you guys later. Mwah! Alright, so it's 6 49. And now I'm turning around. And we're gonna have our dinner. We've got some tender greens to go, and we're at UTC. She decided to dine. Near the water, I got my tender greens agua fresca with strawberry orange. Olivia has her honest kids grape juice. This is mine. I got my mashed potatoes and sweet pepper. And Olivia got no, oh, that's mine. You could have some though. We got you fried chicken and Yukon gold potatoes and some squash. All right, we're gonna eat. Say we're gonna eat. We say eat. I'll get you your utensils, okay? Okay. Bon appetit. This is amazing. Look at that. How pretty is that? What are you eating? I'm eating potato. Do you like it? Yeah. Show us what else you have for dinner. Um, um, chicken. <laughs> what else? Um, and and. Potato. Potato. Okay, we're now at Sloan's. Look how cute the chandeliers are. Olivia's. What do we want? What do you want, Olivia? Uh, Olivia. Uh, Olivia. <laughs> Look at this. How cute. This is the best store ever. Sloan's. And candy. Do you want this one? Olivia! These are my favorite. Candy! Okay, so we got a Kinder Egg again. <laughs> but what is this one from? But Jan, we not did it. I'm going to take this off. Okay. Let's have chocolate. And let's have your mommy. He's having it. Hey, what is that? No biggie oh. Hey, what is this? Like a spoon. <coughs> and a spoon. And chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate parts. Open. Okay, open. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is good. This is chocolate. Look at those. Oh, wings. Wings. And it's fun. Fire. I 
I swear them. <laughs> Can you show the camera? Are you gonna put all in one finger? I <laughs> don't like it. This is only mine. Oh, okay, it's yours. These are for, for my for my girl. Okay, let's put yeah. them on you. Let's put them on. Okay, you can put it on. Can I put it on you? You can put this on, and I will put this on. <gasps> so am I your best friend? Yep, you're my best friend. It hardly fits me, but that's okay. I go. I'm the best friend. Yay! Best friends forever. <laughs> and say we're done. I'm done. Say thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Uh oh, I got an idea. Oh. I'll just put them on here. So these are the rest leg. Love thing. I want, I want, I want, I want. Ooh, a baby. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey! What is that?